Alright, what's going on everyone? It's Picky Choco and in today's video, we're checking in some insane and mind-blowing info on Capitano, more new crumbs, also a new abyss element, I believe a sort of little update but yeah, a big Yansan and Primo gems concern and more updated sort of Mavoika and Shaska info so yeah, let's get into everything at once. So here's a first bit of Capitano which is speculated by DK2 and White so do treat them as ninja news and speculations. According to them, Capitano might be releasing in 5.6 and some random sources are speculating that Capitano might be introduced with the release of a new element and the sword shown in the trailer may not be of cryo but of that abyss element and they claim the proof of that is the recent convention happened in China where the VAs were clearly asked by the people about the presence of a new element to which the VAs answered that they can't say anything at the moment but people might be thinking in a correct order and there may be something coming. So for this reason Capitano's been linked to this new element, hmm interesting. Also DK2 and White claim Capitano's constellation may be inspired from dragon or bones because of scale occurrence on his body which was shown in the official trailer and they're certain that Capitano will be a powerhouse. Personally I think if Capitano's this much important he might rather be a descender or a sort of forgotten prince of Khandria or a gatekeeper of Abyss who knows Kirk and is with Fatui's. Well, whatever happens, I'm not gonna miss on Capitano if he's becoming playable. Now on to the next bit which is of Mavuika. So let's read through. According to rumors from Impact Mouse, Mavuika might be released in version 5.3. So from previous patterns, Archons are released in either X.1 or X.2 patches. Even though Furina isn't an Archon, she was still released in version 4.2. So what's happening here for Mavuika? Well, there are few possibilities and reasons. Number one is perhaps Mavuika is not the real Pyro Archon and another Pyro Archon could be released in version 5.2. Or, now this is interesting, Genshin Impact might be following an Archon release pattern like Zhongli and Raiden Shogun were released in 0.1 patches, while Nahira and Furina were released in 0.2 patch. This could mean Mavuika and Saritza might be released in 0.3 patches. And please note that Venti was the only Archon released in 1.0 patch. So let's consider that situation as exceptional. So on this basis, he thinks that Mavuika might be released in 5.3. But if none of this works out, then of course in 5.2. Personally, I think I heard some things in the live stream, like they made a clear narration that a vampire pyro archon died then a new pyro archon took his place and in my opinion that's Mavuika. So personally I consider Mavuika releasing in 5.2 but if not then hey 5.3. So this is all the info we have on Capitano and Mavuika. Now on to the next bit of more updated Yansan and Shaska news. Well, according to Sword of Leaks, Yansan might be an electro character. Yeah, even I was shocked. And more shocking, Shaska might be an animal character. And they've clarified that Shaska's vision was shown in the Natlan trailer. So that's 100% official. But what about Yansan? Well, according to sources, they're claiming her to be a 4 star polearm electro character. Jeez, I wanted her to be a 5 star pyro character. Additionally, they're also claiming her to be the best 4 star and she might arrive in 5.1. Whereas for Shaska, she might arrive in 5.2. I mean, I'm honestly shocked and excited at the same time. And now on to the final bit of video that's Primo Gem count. Well, in the first phase itself, you'll be able to rack up up to free 90 wishes plus a free 5 star thanks to whoever's anniversary rewards. Now nah, wait, thanks to Kuro games for this. So in fact, there will be a lot of primo gems but don't get tricked or swayed away by FOMO or trust me the future theater mechanics will torture you. Speaking of which, do note that as version 5.0 is released, the double top up bonus will reset which will give you double the amount of genesis crystals. So if you want to save an extra 20% visit lootbar.gg. So, let's try to buy this genesis crystals pack for $85 which costs $100 in game by the way. 
way, as you're watching on top of it being cheaper, there's also a 5% extra discount bringing the total price down to $80. We simply have to enter our UID and choose a server. Here we go, I received my crystals under 5 minutes. Loot Bar has over 1k reviews and many big YouTubers have also partnered with Loot Bar. So indeed they are trustworthy. Now all you gotta do is use my link from the description or pinned comment and get an additional 5% discount. So thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss on any interesting new news like this. Alright, I hope you have a great and fantastic day and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe and stay picky.